Dr Toure, information and communication technologies contribute to global warming, but how can they also be used to address climate change? The uh, ICT industry is contributing to about 2.5% to 5.3% total in the climate ch change as part of the problem. And we believe that I ICT can be used for the 95% remaining from the other sectors. Of course, the Inf International Telecommunication Union has been uh, playing its role since the first satellite was uh, used to monitor climate change as well since 1972. And since then, the technology has evolved so much that there are so much to do in the uh, ICT sector. How does the United Nations perceive global warming? Well, when the Secretary General of uh, United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, visited ITU in July 2007, his statement was very clear. Climate change is the moral challenge of our generation and needs to be addressed at the global level. And ICT will play a key role in that, and this is recognized. How can ICTs be used by other industry sectors to reduce emissions and energy consumption? Well, you take any sector, uh, the education sector, e-education is one very important uh, role. If you take the health sector, e-health will enable you to save costs. You take the construction sector, uh, uh, now the uh, both house construction or car manufacturing, you will have smart cars, smart houses, smart buildings that will be energy efficient. In the agricultural sector, you will be able to help in the supply chain, in capacity building. Every sector in every walk of life today can have an effect by changing its behaviors, by using t tools and devices that can have a real important uh, effect on climate change today. What does the future hold for the telecommunications industry regarding climate change mitigation and adaption? The future for, of the ICT sector is bright. First of all, it's going to grow. Of course, that means that it will, there are risks of, of, of increasing the greenhouse gas emissions, of course. But of course, the uh, smart devices that we are conceiving now, the next generation networks that are being conceived, are proof that we are going to have a very good contribution in this fight against clim climate change the satellites monitoring that uh, and remote sensing that have been conceived since 72 are uh, opportunities to uh, to again play a key role in measuring in monitoring and disaster pre preparedness we are uh, organizing ourselves in a way that the whole industry can raise awareness and use the, the information and communication tools to globally raise the awareness and share information, reduce travels. We know that our industry can, by uh, reducing travels, by replacing them by uh, video conferencing or teleconferencing, we will also reduce uh, paper use of paper in, um, in printing by using more and more electronic means. Therefore, the, the, the information and communication technology system and environment has a real opportunity to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and contribute to the overall climate change debate. You've told us about how ICTs are used in a number of different areas, but how can they be used to help combat global disasters? Well, as you know, the satellites have played a key role in monitoring uh, the disasters. And uh, ICU has allocated not only spectrum, but orbital slots to satellites for disaster uh, preparation and also to address the overall climate change. ITU will continue to do so. The last uh, World Radio Conference, uh, WRC 07, has addressed specifically the issue of allocating new spectrums for disaster preparedness, and that has been done. And that's a major achievement. The ITU's tasked with playing a significant role in combating global climate change, but what steps are you taking? ITU wants to ensure that the climate change address is addressed 
in a standardized manner that it is measured. It's measured with agreed standards. And then it's addressed also with the best opportunities that information and communication technology is providing us. It is also used to promote the awareness building in the, our society. Uh, even though the information and communication technology is not really part of the problem, it is part of a solution. And we intend to play that vital role that information and communication technology can play in combating climate change.